One of the most exciting uh, aspects of cancer research today uh, is the availability of drugs that hit mutant proteins. And we've seen many spectacular successes where these drugs have been introduced into the clinic. But even in these successful cases, we see a very wide range of responses. Uh, in addition, there are a number of drugs that have been brought into the clinic targeting particular mutant proteins that just haven't worked for some reason as well as we expected, or only worked in a small number of cases. To understand why these drugs work in some patients and not in others, we need to analyze the entire uh, genome sequence of the tumors. This is a tremendous amount of information and a big technical challenge at many different levels. Most of these drugs are being tested at multiple institutions. What we need to do is to compile all of this mountain of information about uh, clinical responses and genomic information so we can really make uh, predictions about which patients will respond most effectively to which drug. But one example of this kind of approach was published recently in which a failed clinical study, a phase two study, uh, had been uh, wrapped up with uh, really only one clear responder to a drug uh, that is known to hit components of the PI3 kinase pathway. But in the one patient that did respond dramatically, uh, she was still uh, alive two years after the study uh, and prompted a group at Sloan Kettering to go in and analyze the full sequence uh, of the tumor of the patient who responded so effectively. And when they did that, they identified a mutation in a gene called TSE1, which is a key component of the, the uh, PI3 kinase pathway. They followed up uh, with more data from more patients uh, who had responded partially, and indeed all the responders had some kind of mutation in the TSC1 gene. But now we think that patients with TSC1 mutations in other kinds of cancer uh, may also respond to this kind of drug uh, in a way that would not have been predicted previously. Uh, but to, to do these uh, studies and to develop the hypotheses, we need to have access to information gathered at multiple clinical sites uh, across many years using different kinds of platform and have all this information integrated into a way that we can really make sense of uh, and thus improve the outcome of our patients uh, and improve the development of next generation of drugs.